Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can provide stiffness modifiers to the beams and columns as per IS1893 or IS16700 in strap software. So let's get started. Here you can see I have opened a one model which is a RCC structure. And if you see the render view, you can see beams and columns. Now let us turn on the property numbers. So here you will find these property numbers. So you can see the property number 2 is assigned to the columns and the property number 1 is assigned to the beams. Now let us go to this uh, right hand side corner. Here you will find these beams. And if you go to properties here, you will find that this property number 1 and 2 is defined. So the 1 property is uh, for the beams. So to change the stiffness modifiers for the beams, we will go to additional options. We will go to modification factors. And here you will find this property number 1 and 2. Now the area factor, the I2 factor, I3 factor and J factor. So these three things are important for us. I2, I3 is nothing but the uh, moment of inertia. So this is what our code says to change for the design of the structure. We need to make it uh, 0.35 and 0.35 for the beams and 0.7 and 0.7 for the columns. This uh, torsional factor, our code have uh, no provision for the torsional factor, this J factor. So initially we'll change this uh, property modifiers for I2 and I3. So you'll see that this property number one is for beams. So we'll make it 0 0.35 and also the I3 as 0 0.35 for both the directions. That means the major and minor axis. And for the column, we will make it 0 0.7 and 0.7 now if you click on end so this is how we can assign here you can see the major axis i2 is greater than i3 i2 is greater than i3 so it is uh, defining the major axis here so uh, this is how we can define this uh, modifiers stiffness modifiers to the beams and columns or you can say to the structural elements in strap software so this is it for today we'll see more advanced options in strap in our next videos thank you